All right, we are going over bell ringers for the week of October 6th. We're starting with Tuesday. We will no longer have a bell ringer on Monday with the goal that we will meet in the classroom on Monday and we can go over them in class. Okay, so for Tuesday, we have effect with an A and effect with an E. The best way to know the difference between the two is effect with an A is a verb and it means to influence. But here's the key, effect with an A is a verb and effect with an E is a noun. And effect with an E means a result or an impact. Please check your answers from Tuesday. Decide whether effect with an A or effect with an E is a synonym. Synonym means the same. Antonym means the opposite for each word below. To alter. To alter means effect with an A. An outcome. An outcome, we're looking for the noun. effect with an E. So to help ourselves out, let's make our notes up here. To change, or excuse me, a change. This is our keys to an, a, uh, or a, you know those are going to be nouns. The word to alter, to influence, we know A and D are going to be verbs. So C, A change is going to be the noun. It's going to be effect with an E. To influence our verb effect with an A. Bell ringer for Wednesday, the 7th. Read the following two sentences. Rewrite each sentence to revise any grammatical mistakes that you see. Take out the trash mom ordered before the dogs, before the dog knocks over the can. Mom is the one speaking. What does mom say? Take out the trash before the dog knocks over the can. What she says needs to be in quotation marks. We'll take care of that first. Now we will work out the grammatical errors that are left over. We need to have a comma before the quotation marks. We need to have a comma before these quotation marks. Now we need to decide what to do with this B. When do we capitalize the second half of the sentence is the big question here. We capitalize this whenever the sentence on this half has ended. Take out the trash before the dog knocks over the can. This is a continuation of the other half. This sentence has not ended. That's why we put a comma here. Take out the trash before the dog knocks over the can. So the B stays lowercase. If this was a completely new sentence, we would capitalize the B. But since it's a continuation of the first half, we keep it lowercase. Okay? 
The next sentence. Jordan, get those straws out of your nose, mom shouted. Mom is speaking to Jordan. Let's go ahead and take care of the quotation marks. Comma is before the final quotation marks. Jordan is in direct address. Jordan, get those straws out of your nose. We put a comma here. The noun is in direct address. It's not you are knows, it's your, the pronoun. Mom is shouting, okay? So this comma should actually be an exclamation point. Mom is capitalized because here mom is the name. If it was my mom, mom would be lowercase, but it is not my mom, it's mom, as if that's her name. Okay, moving on to Thursday. Read the following definitions and sentences. On the next slide, fill in, write, or type the correct words. Angel or angle. An angel is a divine messenger or simply a divine being. The volunteers who told us help was on the way seemed like angels. An angle is the place where two lines intersect. The bird took shelter in the angle of the branches. When we do a uh, assignment, and we see the difference and we have the definition of the difference in front of us, it's easier to get them correct. Where we mess up with these homophones is when we're doing our own essays, when we're doing our own writing without the definitions in front of us. So I'm going to give you a, a goofy clue <laughs> for this one. Angel, gel. <laughs> So think of an angel with gel in his or her hair. <laughs> if you can remember goofy answers to life's questions, you will never make that spelling mistake again. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Uh, decide whether the E and L should be switched in each sentence below. A, in order to hit the target, the archer had to approach it at an angel. Nope. <laughs> it should be angle. In the story, an angel brings the saint a message from God. This is already correct. C, Vicky was dressed as Angle for the church play. That is wrong. Vicky was dressed as an angel for the church play. D, the park is at the angel where two roads meet. Is at the angle where two roads meet. And Friday, new stuff. Each Friday, you'll have either a writing prompt in written form, or you'll have a writing prompt as an image where you either have to give a story or some type of caption for the image. Um, this week, your journal is from a prompt. Paragraph length. Five points, paragraph length, four to eight sentences. If you use four, that needs to be a very fancy four, okay? If you have four, you need to have compound, complex sentences. They shouldn't be very four simple, short 
sentences, okay? Transition word included, one point. Okay, you have to use one of these transition words. For example, for instance, namely, specifically, or to illustrate. You need to use one of these words. in your journal. And you are going to circle it. Okay, just one. Choose between the two prompts. Okay, you have two, you're gonna choose one. Write at least four sentences. Use one of the transition words below in your journal and circle it. So you choose which one you want. One is a little bit more creative than the other. Create a brand new holiday. How would people celebrate that holiday? Is your holiday going to be um, National Apple Day? <laughs> that might already exist. Is it going to be, let's see here, uh, what else do I have around me that it could be a holiday for um, Go Nuts Day, <laughs> peanuts here. Uh, so you make up a uh, national uh, or you know brand new holiday. How would people celebrate that holiday? Be creative. Uh, prompt two, how can you use your time more efficiently? Are you currently procrastinating? spending too much time on video games or Netflix, social media? How can you spend it more productively? I'm trying to think of an example on how would people celebrate that holiday if I had my apple. If it was a national apple day, uh, people could um, spend their days using apples for games. They could make applesauce, apple pies. I would definitely have to sit down and quietly think and not think off the top of my head in front of a recorded device right now. But um, that one would require me to do some critical thinking, okay? So that's your bell ringers for the week. Make sure that you get this in on time. It's due today, Friday. Thank you.